Hey everybody, it's me, Maddie B, again. Um, I'm kind of here to... I don't really mean to seem to take a dark tone, but I want to just talk a bit about my cousin Parker today because it was his funeral. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with talking about him. I mean, I'm probably not going to cry. I mean, if I do, I'm not going to be too bad. And, uh... I just want to talk about him because he was a little love of my life, as he was for many. Um, but my cousin Parker was born on July twelfth, twenty thirteen, and he just uh, he passed away recently on March thirtieth. And uh, he wasn't diagnosed till about six months of age with avular rhabdomyosarcoma sarcoma or something along those lines. I haven't really pronounced it in quite a while, so. But he had it in his cheek, and, um, it was really scary at first, because it was a really big mass in his cheek, and, uh, I remember the first time I held him before all this diagnostics, um, I was holding him because my dad had us go visit him after he shortly after he was born, and I had him. I was holding him and on my chest and all that, and somehow I just knew that we'd be just great buddies and all that because he was just something about him just seemed to sparkle a bit when I held him, and shortly after he was diagnosed, my dad took us back to go see him at their new pl at their apartment and I first saw him and I totally lost it so I'm just thinking this special little guy is going through so much already and he's not even one yet so I spent the night with him quite a few times at the hospital I think the first time I did he was a few months into dying like into chemo and all that and this picture is from one of the first few times and I was doing it for a photography project he was just knocked out cold he was just asleep like you couldn't wake him up for nothing and he had his feet crossed like this and I just thought it was the cutest little thing so I took a couple pictures in black and white and color because it was supposed to be a black and white project and then as I went on to Photoshop, I thought it'd be really cute just to add a little childhood cancer ribbon to his toe. I mean, the color is gold, so if you thought it was like a military color, I mean, I can kind of understand why you would think both ways, but it's supposed to be the cancer, or childhood cancer ribbon, but I did this for the project, and I was so stinking proud of this one. I still am, because it's just, it's super cute. And, uh, I, another time, I was, after he got out of the hospital a while ago, no, it was, I think before this, but after I got out from my dad's house, and I got this phone that I'm working on, uh, we went to King's Island, and I won him a little like stuffed duck from a little like it was like a really cheap looking looking duck but I got it from a balloon popping game and I have a video of him saying duck because it was his first like animal word as far as I knew so I got so excited because it was so cute because I won something and he started talking about it like just duck 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 so there's this little picture of him with a duck on his head and I put on there, and I'm just like, hold still. And he's looking at me like, why? So, yeah. This was um, after he lost his hair, and before he grew it out again. And when it grew back, it stayed. It would not go out for anything. And he was totally in love with ducks at some point. He was so funny, because... I won that little duck, and I was so proud because I got him to be interested in ducks. And so, another time at King's Island, 
he was wearing his little shirt. And he took my mammal's, our mammal's phone, and he started holding up to his ear like he was talking to it. And he was just, like, babbling away, not saying anything in particular, just holding it like he was talking to someone. So, after Mama took it back from, for, because she needed it for a phone call, I got up to him, just like, hey, Parker. I started sticking my tongue at him, and he just, knew. Um, he was so cute. I love him. I love him with hair. I love him without hair. Love him to pieces, no matter what. Uh, this was from his first birthday party. He um. He would not get dirty in his cake to save our lives. Like it was crazy because he's so used to being like washed clean and all that because of all his like tubes and stuff in his chest. And so my mom grabbed some cake in her fingers and just smushed it all over his face and he wasn't too happy at first but then we gave him a fork and then he started eating the cake and he was fine after that. <laughs> he had no problem. Then another memory I have was when uh, so I'm, it may seem weird for a 19 year old like me to have this but I have a security blanket. This is like my fourth one because all of mine have either been lost or have just disintegrated as nothing but the silk frame. And this is one that Parker didn't want when he was little, so I took it because I thought it was really nice and I like the feeling of it. But he has like these little like little baby cloth ones. So he thought this one was his, so he took it and was walking around with it. He felt a little bit and he was just like, ew, and just flat out dropped it. So, I thought it was the funniest thing, because he was just like, he had this disgusted look on his face. Just, ew. <laughs> I think it was that same time he was at my mom's house. Um, I taught him, or I got him started on coloring. And he was, he just loved coloring after that ever since. He wasn't even like coloring in the lines or anything, but he was just scribbling all over the page in crayons. Toss them aside, then grab another one, then coloring it again, and then toss that one aside, grab another one, just scribbling all day. So, at his funeral today, I went up to his casket again, and I told him, Parker, I'm going to come up there again one day. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I'm going to come back up there, and we're going to paint the sky together. We're going to paint it. So many colors. It's going to be like the biggest piece of tie-dye you'll ever see in your life. It'll be the biggest thing. And when we're done painting for the day, we'll just make cloud shapes. We'll make all the cloud shapes people will see and they'll point them out and we'll see if they guess right. And he better keep my paintbrush ready for when I get up there. I know I'll keep that, hold it against him if he doesn't, and, uh, he has this little, we had this little, like, magnet, so they actually like, guitars, but because he didn't have a guitar for him at first, like, a little, like, toy guitar, we took them and, like, started playing them, like, nye, nye, nye. so they're now considered near near so they're no longer guitars, so he's, He's probably going to be playing his near near up in the sky. And he's going to write some songs so we can sing them together as we paint. And make cloud shapes. Uh, I'm really going to miss this little man so much. I mean, I, like I said, I don't really want to seem like a Debbie Downer, but it's just I want to do a nice memorial video on all the special times I had with him. These were bits from the church that they had passed out and all that. I haven't written for today yet. I'm trying to paint it gold on the border for him. But uh, his Facebook page is still up if you guys ever want to go see that. It's just called Fight for Parker. 
and it's got his whole story, all the pictures, excuse me, it's got all his pictures, all videos, memories, good and bad alike, and it's just, it's amazing. I don't really know how to put links to the Facebook app, but I'll definitely leave the title of it in the description because it just means so much to me, that page. Because there are some points where I wasn't able to see him at some point, so that really just helped me feel reassured that he's okay or he's going to be okay. But. Yeah. He's. He's definitely gonna be missed. I'm never gonna be able to watch Toy Story again because of him because he was just so stinking in love with Woody. So he was in love with Woody and Jesse so much. In his casket they put a Woody doll next to him so he can have it to go up with him. So it was so cute. My mom got some rings for him. I say like to infinity and beyond and reach for the sky. And I'm sh I should probably try to find something like that because it's just so stinking adorable. And I, I love rings. I mean, I have one. It's my class ring from when I was a freshman. So, well, it counts for my whole senior, or my whole high school year. But anyway, he has a little Buzz Lightyear pajamas. And I love to have favorite pajamas like that. So I'm jealous of him for that. I think of other really good memories I have with him. Let's see. Oh, he came over to my mom's house one day with the family for gingerbread decorating. And while everyone, all the other big kids were making gingerbread houses, like his sisters and they were making houses, I had him on my lap and we had like a giant gingerbread man shape. And I'd have him pick out a candy, and I'd say, which one do you want to put on first? And he just, eh. And I'm like, okay. I put icing on it. Where do you want to put it? Eh. Okay, there it goes. So we had a really big gingerbread man covered in candy and icing. So I'm like, where do you want to put icing? And he just, eh, eh, eh. And it was the cutest thing. It was, he was so happy about that. And another time we went... We were at my mom's house here, and we were playing Twister. He would not, for the life of me, save, uh, put away the game mat. So he would, he'd say, I help, I help. He'd grab it, and then just lie down on it, like, dead weight. And I'm just, I'm like, Parker, come on, get off. And he's just, no. And so, I'd lay it back down, and then we'd play another game, and then after... I think he got so tired he passed out, kind of thing. I finally folded up really quick and got put this way, got put this way. The sister of is like, why don't we play another round? I'm like, I'm tired of playing, I'm not flexible, so. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I, this video is mostly just to record and tell all the memories I had with him. And all the fun times I had. And how I'll never really forget him. My Aunt Jody wanted to give out some socks that he wore. And these were the ones, some, there was like these, a minion pair, and some Nike pairs. But I took the Oscar the Grouch ones because I think these are the cutest ones in the bag that were left over. So I have a couple pairs of, or a set of Oscar the Grouch socks that he wore. If you guys have any ideas on what to do with, the, with these, please let me know because I just want to do something really special with them. And I'm about to the 15 minute mark, so I'm so sorry for the dark turn and that it's kind of a sad video, but I mean, it's a happy video in a way. I mean, it's happy things that I did with Parker and all the fun memories, but rest in peace, Parker. You'll, I'll see you again soon. Keep my paintbrush ready, that's for sure. I'll see you guys later. Bye.